I don't have anything bad to say at all. Strong beginning, good arguments, well said, like communication skill on point, and she ended very, very strong. Hello everyone, welcome once again to my channel. It's your boy Luis Bertelles and for today's video we have a very special reaction because mm, this is gonna be a little bit of a controversial one. The reason for that is because we are going to be covering some of the interview challenges of the top candidates. And by that I mean the candidates that have been doing really really well so far. Specifically, I have five of them on my list. Laren, Maureen, Steffi, Kisses, and Katrina. The purpose of this video is just to find out what was it that they did well and not so well during the interview challenge because obviously I feel like the entire fandom was shook it when we found out that these queens were not in the top seven. Most of them are known for the communication skills and they have been doing so well so far during the competition but then something changed and I want to find out what it was. And obviously by no means this video intends to take away credit from the candidates that actually made it into the top seven I already made a video about that and I'm super happy for all of them. Congratulations for a job well done. I love you ladies. This is just for fun and game. Before we get into the reaction, I'll give you a little piece of information or should I call it like a little bit of tea? And it's that I've heard from several people that the guidelines for this challenge was very general. Meaning that the delegates were not told what the organization was expected from them when it comes to delivery, to presentation, to handling themselves. It was something very generic such as just show a lot of personality and you know. So I want you to keep that in mind as well as we watch this challenge because definitely the instructions that you're given by the mother organization will always have an impact on how you present yourself. So if you enjoy my video the only thing that I'm gonna ask from you is that you leave a like so that it gets recommended to more people. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one almost every single day and last but not least let me know in the comment section what you think about my feedback, the questions, the answers, all of it you express yourself baby <laughs> all right everyone so without further ado let's get into today's reaction i really really hope that you enjoy it you strong. so number five on the list we have laren let's see what she had to offer we have laren me bautista from laguna hi everyone i am laren me magnaya bautista you can call me laren i'm 28 years old and i'm representing the province of laguna you might find my name unique because I find it different also. It is a combination of my parents' name, Les from my mother, Leticia, and Ren is from my father, Efren. I feel like I am the only Laren in the universe. Speaking of my parents, they are both full-blooded Filipinos, and I was born and raised here in Los Banos, Laguna, with a very traditional Filipino household. Growing up, I was given a chance to enjoy playing outdoors, but not in your typical backyard setup. Naglalaro at tumutuloy ako sa tabing gilis, sumasakay ako sa trolley, all right, so let's talk about Laren's introduction. In my opinion, she did well so far. Obviously, she gave us a lot of information about herself, and I didn't see any major missteps during the delivery. Something that I've noticed about Laren over time is that she has a very calm personality, like even the tone of her voice is very subtle, very delicate, and sometimes I feel like that might affect the delivery or the impact of what you're telling us, because of course, when you when you are presenting yourself, it's important that you sound excited, that you sound implicated, that you sound like you want to engage with the audience. And although she's very bubbly, very cute, I feel like that's lacking a little bit. Another comment that I have about Laren is that the answer sounds a little bit rehearsed. Sometimes I even feel like she's providing it in blocks. Okay, this is me, my family. Then this is me, my education. This is me and what I do. And it is expected that beauty queens prepare for this type of interviews and for this type of moments. The ultimate goal is for you to be able to give that information to the audience without them noticing that you know this by heart. <laughs> but once again, those are just like little details and technicalities. But overall, she did a good job. Let's keep watching. Given the power to change a personal experience, what would you change and why? Mm -hmm. Given the power to change something, I believe I would not change anything. Because with all the experience that I've learned all throughout my life, I gained something from it. I realized and, some, and, and, I realized and do something about it. And I feel like I don't need to change anything because I learned a lot from it and it makes me who I am today. All right, so this question, I like her answer. There was nothing wrong with it. And I would have probably said something along the same lines for this type of question. Now, once again, it's the delivery for me, the way that she verbalizes things. It might be a little redundant at times. So there's 
definitely an opportunity there for the communication skills to improve a little bit but if you look at it from the point of view of question and answer she did provide an answer that called for the question so that's good <laughs> the pandemic has brought about widespread unemployment should a family with children with very limited resources spend it on food or on education i personally feel like we don't need to choose between the two because Food and education are both important in our daily lives. So I feel like um, having that enough food for ourselves, it gives us enough energy to really study for our education and then in our future. Lastly. Okay, so for this question in particular, it's one of those that you can answer like either way. Uh, and it depends on how you justified it. I personally wouldn't have chosen like the two of them because yes, obviously, in a perfect world you get to eat and you get to go to school but sometimes that's a privilege you know and we don't realize it but that's just my personal opinion the way that she answered it she was able to justify it and she was able to provide something that was convincing which is what really matters in these type of challenges because you won't make everyone happy what really matters here is, is that you're able to provide an answer and then you're able to justify it that you sound sure of yourself and that and that it comes with a statement with a message for the people so i feel like she did well good for you larry how has the pandemic challenged you? You know what? I am a COVID survivor and mm. it really changed my perspective in life. My mom also got COVID and it's really hard because his, she's already a senior and I feel like I cannot live with my mother. So this pandemic really made me realize how life is important and how family is important to everybody and we should take care and take, do not take advantage of the time that we have with our families very nice if you notice with this answer she was talking from a place of experience she's been there she's done that she know what it feels like and her delivery was much more fluent in the beginning that's why it's important that no matter whatever answer you have prepared or you have rehearsed you always try to approach it on the spot with whatever experience you have maybe sometimes even adapt to the current situation around you uh, to make it a little more personal by the end of the answer she was losing track a little bit again but it was nothing major she was able to pick it up and she ended strong so I'm okay with this one. I mean, I can see why Laren didn't make it into the top seven. However, she was consistent. So this wasn't by any means bad or anything like that. It's just that other girls were a little bit more consistent, but good for you, girl. Now let's get into candidate number four, which is Maureen Rabblebits. And now, we have Maureen Krista Robowitz from Pangasinan. Hi everyone, I'm Maureen Krista Robowitz. I'm 23, representing Pangasinan. I describe myself as a third culture kid because I was born and raised in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia to a German dad and a Filipino mom. From a very young age, I've been very aware of different cultures and religions, which helped my cultural sensitivity, but gave me a lot of stories to tell. According to my friends, my favorite way to start a sentence is in Germany, in the Philippines, in Saudi Arabia, because I've lived in all those places. Some people may perceive me as shy, but once I start talking, especially if it's something that I'm passionate about, like acting, makeup, travel, there is no end. So now, Okay, I already know what didn't work here with Maureen. Uh, first of all, I want to take you back for a moment to what I was telling you in the introduction of this video, that the candidates were told to show a lot of personality and just be themselves. Maureen is being completely natural. This girl is not rehearsed, she's just going with the flow. However, everything that she is telling us is almost word by word what she said in her introduction video. So I feel that, yes, although she is personalizing the text and although she is really going with something, she can smile and show her personality, we have heard it before. We know what it's like. That's why we had an introduction challenge. Now during the interview, I would like to see a different side of you that I haven't had access to yet. I feel like that's my only critique so far for the introduction. She did well other than that, but let's see how she handles the questions. How would you describe your beauty to a blind person? I would say that the beauty from the outside is not as important 
what is more important is the beauty from the outside and my beauty is i am kind despite my bad experiences in life i've experienced so many things mm -hmm. but i wouldn't wouldn't want anyone else to experience that it is awesome very nice i like that answer it was a strong beginning it was smooth all throughout so i'm happy with it maureen something that i really like about her she has like very honest eyes so when she smiles you can just feel like she is embodying the answer and it's really coming from her heart it was a short one so i don't have a lot of you know feedback about it but she was good i mean it was it was all right <laughs> and said that high risk equals high reward what have you risked in pursuit to become this universe of peace? i have risked my mental health i've had a lot of struggles with my mental health but i know that this journey will make it all worth it I know that despite my struggles, I'll be able to overcome this. Alright, so what I'm noticing so far with Maureen is that she is really using only like a portion of the time that she's being allowed for the answers. I don't know if this is going to benefit her or if it's gonna hurt her. My guess is that it did hurt her because obviously she didn't make the top seven. Although it was a short answer, I'm happy with it because she's talking about something very important, you know, like mental health, especially in pageantry. It's something that we don't talk about enough. And she was able to make it personal, once again, talking about her very own experience. So I guess that the only thing that I will critique about this is that the answer was so short especially because it's such an important subject you could have said a little bit more give us a little more substance like a strong statement like i don't know something impactful to to make this answer memorable but that's just my take on it let's see how she handled the pandemic how has the pandemic challenged you the pandemic has challenged me in a way that i have gotten so comfortable being an introvert so this one is another challenge getting out of my comfort zone again mm -hmm. and really um utilizing my platform to inspire so many thank you very much okay i do agree with that answer i can relate to this myself i am an introvert at heart and the pandemic just really put me in a comfort zone right now everything is you know things are picking up so i have to get out of that comfort zone and it's a little bit challenging um nothing wrong with this answer i mean it was it was solid it was good once again she's not using the entire time i don't know why but for as long as the answer is complete and it addresses all of the elements of the question then I'm okay with it. So good for you, Maureen. This was good. This was solid. Now, number three on the list, we have Steffi Rose Aberastery. Let's see how she did. Now we have Steffi Rose Aberastery from Cebu province. Hi, I am Adlao. I am Steffi Rose Pearson Aberastery, proudly representing Cebu province. So things that you should know about me is that I am an island girl. So I really enjoy swimming with the fishes. I even saw a pregnancy horse, and at the same time, I swam together with treasure sharks. Can you imagine that? <laughs> Aside from that, I love, love visiting the farm, and I even vaccinated thousands of chicks. And lastly, I'm a cinema dancer and a woman of God. So that's it about me. Thank you so much. There's something about Steffi, and she has been showing a lot of personality through most of the challenges, but in this one in particular, she's really going in. To the point that sometimes you feel like a little extra, you know, like she's making a joke and then she's laughing at her own joke. I wonder if this might be one of the cases where she might have been a little confused by the instructions of the challenge. Give us personality, girl. And here she is, like giving like the absolute most. My girl is laughing at her own jokes. Come on now. But on a positive note, what I really like about Steffi is that on every single answer, she will deliver like a unique element. You know, she's talking about really fun facts about her. Stuff that she doesn't tell you, like you wouldn't be able to know or guess. Like swimming with sharks, vaccinating chicks. I mean, what the... <laughs> when you listen to her talk, it's like a box of surprises. Like you never know what she's gonna pull out. So it's good. And of course, she's very eloquent. Her communication skills are on point, but we already knew that. So this is no surprise for me. So Steffi, on a scale of one to 10, how would you rate your beauty? And why? For me, I rate my beauty of, of course, 10. Ah. I'm really blessed at what God has given me and also my parents. Sana, all confidence. Because of that, for me, beauty is about being comfortable with your own skin. Like mm. knowing and accepting who you are. For me, that's really beautiful. And beauty is skin deep. It's not just about the physique, but it's what's really in here. For me, that's beautiful. That's why I rate myself 10. Nice. Okay. I like the answer from beginning to end. I agree with it. 
Uh, I believe that anything else that she would have said, like any other numbers, would have been a little bit controversial because people are gonna come for her like, so you're not confident enough? Like, do you have insecurities? So going with a 10 was the right answer and the way that she defended it, right? Because there's also the part that if you go with a 10, people might tell you that, oh, so you're overly confident, you're a narcissist. But not at all, she really was able to justify it with, you know, loving yourself, accepting yourself for who you are and also just like inspiring people around you. I mean, like that's the best way to answer this type of thing, so... Nothing bad to say. This answer was one of my favorites so far. Thank you. Do you think there should be stricter censorship on social media because of widespread misinformation, defamation, and cyberbullying? Mm. For me, I totally agree with that. With now me as a social media person, as a queen there, a queen plus Tindera, I've always been into social media. And it's really important for me to filter what I post and what I share. And now people are taking advantage of the disadvantages of social media. Like mm -hmm. we have to remind ourselves and put a borderline for us not to hurt other people. And remind that they, to make use of the social media the way it is designed. Okay, there's something about this question that rubs me the wrong way and is the word censorship. I do agree that we need like better verification methods maybe like work with the algorithm to make sure that the information that we're putting out there is actually true relevant and informative but calling it a censorship that is a little bit dangerous i mean coming myself from a country where information is being censored this is not something that you want under any circumstance so do i agree with the answer not at all however I see where she's coming from, I see what she's trying to say because she's talking from the perspective of a beauty queen being on social media but also having her own business and you know, Steffi does a lot when it comes to social media. Right now she's promoting like local brands and working with different partners. So I do see why she will be okay with stricter censorship but I don't think she took it in the literal sense of the world censorship. That is dangerous, so. How has the pandemic challenged you? Okay. On this pandemic, I've encountered so many problems, but I rose up and stand with this challenge. With this pandemic, I learned so many things like the value of communication. Before, I never really asked someone, how are you, how are you doing? But with this pandemic, people mean so much to me. That's why with this pandemic, communication, life and time itself is so important for me. Very nice. I like the answer. Uh, it was consistent. She did answer the question with a few elements, so I mean, that's all I can expect from her. And of course, her communication skills were on point as usual. Nothing new around here. This was a good interview for Steffi. I feel like although I gave her some feedback and although I said a few things that I don't agree with, once again, we're looking at this like globally. And overall, she did a very consistent performance. She delivered what was expected of her. In my opinion, the reason why the organization didn't provide very elaborate guidelines, it's because of the feedback that they have been getting from fans asking to equalize, you know, the votes and the judgment and to make sure that everyone has like a fair chance. So I believe that they wanted to equalize it a little bit by asking everyone to introduce themselves, answer a question and then go with that, with the same question for everyone to see how they do on their own. But that's just a theory, okay? No, let's not create conspiracies around here. Let's keep watching because next we have Kisses de la Vin. Hello, good evening. Good afternoon, everybody. My the name is though. Kirsten Daniel Dalabin, and my nickname is Kisses. I am from Las Vegas City, and the story that I want to tell you is that I am a miracle baby. My mother and father had eight pregnancies, and I was the only one who survived. And when I was six years old, I suffered from a viral encephalitis with only 5% chance of living, wow. and I survived. I think that the universe has been very kind to me and I think that it's my job to give back that kindness. Thank you. Okay, so I like the answer because I know how inspiring Kisses story is. Obviously this girl has been through a lot and even the chances that she will be here on earth right now were very very low. Here she is and competing for the national crown. I do have two things to say about this, like two feedbacks. First of all, it's something that we have heard before. So once again, when you're doing the introduction challenge, I do understand that this is a big part of your story, but I didn't learn anything else from you other than the fact that you are a miracle baby, right? When other candidates are talking about their experience, about their education, what they do, this is something major for you, but at the same time, I wanna have a little more information. So give me more. Second thing, and I don't think that Kisses is to blame for this, 
but the microphone is very distracting. It's like when you have Q&A at 6 and then karaoke night at 6.30. Like, I don't get it. She could have just sat in front of the computer. She could have just sat in front of her phone and just like do a normal Zoom meeting like everyone else. But I feel like it's playing against her because it plays with the audio, like the quality, the delivery. I don't know. I'm not feeling it. But we all know that Kisses is really, really good in Q&A. So let's see what she did with the next question. Your first question is, some people say that pageants foster stereotypes. Mm -hmm. What would you tell them? Mr. Walter, I think that belief is in itself a stereotype. There is no good thing or bad thing. It's how you think about it. And actually, joining a beauty pageant and being your true self, that is the best way to break that stereotype. It's all in the mind. It's about expressing yourself and being truly who you are. Thank you. Ah, this is why I love kisses. Okay, I really love that answer. I don't have anything bad to say at all. Strong beginning, good arguments, well said, like communication skill on point, and she ended very, very strong. She didn't even try to adapt to the question. From the beginning, she turned it away and she was like, that question itself, it's a stereotype. I know that a lot of people overlook kisses for many, many reasons, but the girl has a lot of potential. She is good in Q&A, she is beautiful, and we have yet to see what she can do on a live environment, you know, on the stage and all of that. So I'm excited for her, whether that makes you all happy or not, but she has potential. Now let's see how she did with the next question. According to Shakespeare, the eyes are the windows to the soul. What would people see if they looked into your eyes? Mr. Walter, I absolutely love that quote. And I think that the eyes are the first thing I see when I look at someone. And in my eyes, people can see that I am ready for this. I think of the Miss Universe job as something that I was born to do. And that I will be putting my whole heart into it. Thank you so much. Oh my god, this girl knows what she's doing. She knows. You know, I'm actually quite shocked because I thought that I would have like more feedback for kisses. But so far with the questions itself, she has been doing a very good job. Uh, now, when it comes to what I told you in the beginning, like the technical parts, I still stand by that. I feel like the microphone is distracting. I feel like she should have given us maybe a little more context about who she is as a person rather than her story as a child. But when it comes to Q&A, my girl is really excellent. You cannot tell her a thing. Let's get into the question about the pandemic and let's see what happens with that. Lastly, how has the pandemic challenged you? Mr. Walter, I think that being away from my work, which is in showbiz, mm -hmm. I get to be with I get to be with people every day in show business and make them smile. So one and a half year of not being able to do that has been very sad. But I was able to recalibrate and remember who I was with. I inspired before I even came to show this. And I think it's very important to really recenter. My girl, why you grab back the microphone? Okay, see, this was the perfect example that she did not need the microphone. She can just get closer to the camera. Come on, girl. Come here, come here. We want to see you. I know the outfit is cute, but we want to see you. Uh, it's an interview. The answer for this question was good. I mean, obviously, she has a lot of experience in this entire thing. She does have a lot of experience in showbiz, and it was one of the industries that was the most hurt by the pandemic. So I know that she means it when she's talking about this. So yeah, it was a very good answer. It was not the most creative that I've seen so far for this particular question, but everything else that she did, especially the two questions that she was asked, she was excellent at it. So good, good kisses. Let's keep watching. And number one on the list and final one, we have Katrina Dimaranan, of course, queen of papaya. And let's just get into it. Let's see what she had to deliver, what she brought to the table, and we'll take it from there. Now we have Katrina Dimaranan from the game. Hi everyone, so I've been to three Justin Bieber's by myself concerts and one he looked straight into my eyes while he was singing and said I go, Kini Liga Ho, but you know what? I knew we had a moment. And everyone knows I hate spicy food, but for some weird reason, I still carry it in my bag because I just really like the taste of it. Tapatiola. And I know this sounds super gross, 
But watching Dr. Pimple Popper is so satisfying for me. Now, call me spontaneous because I stayed at one of the most haunted hotels in California and it was so creepy because the volume of the TV kept going up and down the whole night. It was so scary. And during the pandemic, I learned how to make kare kare and it was so delicious. Kare kare. Okay, very nice. You know, Katrina is one of the girls who has like a big personality. Doesn't matter where you put this girl, she is going to shine. And I feel like that for this portion of the introduction, she was really going with fun facts about herself, you know? Stuff that she has done that is outside of the norm. And once again, just a friendly reminder of the instructions so far, which were to show a lot of personality. I feel like Katrina really took the instructions and ran with it because obviously she is giving us a lot of personality. I know that some people gave her some pushback because they said that she was sharing too much or being like too extra, but if I'm being fair, if I'm put in the same position and I'm told to show a lot of personality, this is what I'm going to deliver. So if you expect something else, you have to be a little bit more precise, but um, that was a good introduction in my opinion. So I don't know, let's keep watching and let's see how she handles the questions. Your first question, Katrina, is in today's world, someone or some group often claims to be offended by something. Do you think that the world has become too politically correct and too sensitive? Hello? Mm -hmm. Yes. Hi. I don't think that the world has become politically correct. I think that what's going on right now is the cancel culture that we need to get rid of. I feel like that is a modern day of bullying. And I also feel that we need to stop cancel culture because it's as if we're judging people based off of um, what their opinions are. If it's opposing to ours, all of a sudden, it feels like it's wrong. And cancel culture needs to disappear because it's as if we lost empathy for the people. Hey, I love that. Oh my God, I love the answer. If you, if you dissect that answer, there are so many elements. I love it. And she was able to do it within the expected time and flawlessly when it comes to her communication skills. I mean, Katrina is known for this. This is one of the reasons why I'm rooting for her for the crown because if you look at the introduction, she gave you like extra quirky personality, but when she was provided with a serious question where she had to focus and deliver substance, that's precisely what she gave us. Of course, cancel culture is like a very timely subject, something that we hear very often in the news, and also like this sort of like overly sensitive generation that we have that sometimes we cannot talk about certain issues. So I like how she presented it that sometimes cancel culture can be just like toxic because you don't allow people to grow, to listen, to learn and to become a better version of themselves. Good one, Katrina. So proud of you. Let's keep watching. The Philippines and the Vatican are the only two sovereign states that prohibit divorce. Are you in favor or against legalizing divorce Time. in the Philippines? I have been asked this when I was 18 and I still stand by what I think from before versus now, which is as much as we want to stay committed to the person that we marry, mm -hmm. we can't always decide whether or not they want to stay together. I know that married people stay together and try to work it out, but at the same time, we need to respect that they are no longer in love or if they choose better things that's better for their families and their children. You can tell how much of an honest answer this was because obviously this is a very touchy subject in the sense that it's a little bit controversial. When you get into these questions, a lot of people are going to like it, a lot of people are going to dislike it because they don't agree with that ideology. But at the end of the day, what matters the most to me is that Katrina stayed true to herself. And she did mention it. I said this when I was 18 years old and I still stand by it like as of right now. In all scenarios, honesty is the way to go and I feel like Katrina delivered just that because she has lived in other countries as well. So obviously she's not answering the question without having a way to justify it. So I like this. Before we move on to the last question about the pandemic, I do have to say that some of the questions that Katrina was provided were some of the most challenging in my opinion because they touch very sensitive subjects that even if you select the wrong words, it could rub people the wrong way. So. Definitely props to Katrina for handling it like a pro and yes, although she gave us a lot of personality, a lot of extra and a lot of hot sauce, uh, she also delivered a lot of substance with the questions that matter the most. Let's see how she handled the pandemic. The pandemic challenged you 
it's challenged me in multiple ways. I mean, from having to go to school full time and working full time while trying to support my family, having to focus on school and from home, it, it teaches us responsibility and accountability because we need to be more focused. And aside from that, I've had to deal from being away from my family and not being able to see them. And it's been very hard, but social media has been such an advantage for me because I can communicate with my family all over the world. My girl did not stutter, okay? My girl was like, from beginning to end, this, 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 this. Something that you don't realize about Katrina when you first look at her, because she looks like a star. Like this girl is glowing, the hair, the makeup, the clothes, everything is on point, but she has been through a lot. And sometimes when she answers these questions and she goes with like personal experience, you realize that it's not, she's not a girl who had it easy. No one handed anything to her. She had to really struggle, work hard, open ways and open doors for herself. And I feel like this is the result of all of that hard work. I am beyond proud of Katrina for everything that she has accomplished so far in this competition. And like I was telling my friends, although she didn't make it into the top seven, we lost a battle. We did not lose the war yet. So I'm still hoping for the best. And I know that she has what it takes to get the crown. So everyone, those were pretty much my comments about this challenge in particular, especially the candidates that everyone was expecting to excel in this type of environment. Uh, I really hope that you enjoy my views, my feedback and all of that. I'm gonna keep it short because I see that my camera is about to die. But if you enjoy the video, please leave a like, uh, share it, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one almost every single day. As usual, just a quick hug, because you know that's the tradition on my channel. I love you, I appreciate you. Oh, my camera's about to die on me. Um, take care, and I will see you very, very soon with a brand new video. Until then, stay safe, be kind to one another, sending you all my love, all my kisses, and see you soon.